Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and this is going to be my review for The Greatest Demon Lord is Reborn as a Typical Nobody, Episode 1. Yes, the dub is finally here, which means that this is going to be a once-a-week type, type show, just like Attack on Titan, uh, more than likely a sentence of a bookworm when we get to it, or when they come out with the dub, I mean. Um, uh, the Strongest, uh, Sage is the Weakest Crest, um... Trapped in a dating sim. There's a bunch of shows I've got that are essentially one week, uh, one di one episode a week thing. So it's not like it's gonna bother uh, getting everything else done because I did actually do another episode of I've been killing slime for 300 years. So I mean I was able to get at least two episodes th episodes done today because I don't know how the rest of the day is going to go. And why is it tilted? Oh my god! Hang on. I don't know what the heck is up. Why does it look... I mean, it looks tilted on the side. What the heck? It looks like it's tilted. Like it's going at an angle. What the heck? I don't know. Anyway. Um, the Demon King wants to be able to, you know, be defeated. He's so strong that nobody can beat him, essentially. And so he decides he's going to reincarnate. And apparently the woman in, that he sh that it shows him going to check on is his best friend? Or that's how he put it to our, to, dang it, what was her name? I just freaking watched the episode this morning. I don't know. But that's what he said, though it I assume it's more than that because I don't know if he had friends back then. But when he reincarnates, he reincarnates to a boy named Ard. And the bad thing is that he does want friends. However, the way he talks to people, it's like it's reminiscent of his old life. And that's not going to translate well to kids. They're going to be weirded out by him. They're going to call him creepy. And to the point where, yes, he is a little stalkerish at times. When it comes to the little girl he was trying to befriend, which was the mayor's daughter, because he was talking about how he knew her favorite flowers, and even, where did he say, where all the mole, where did he say? <laughs> I couldn't quite catch, I was just face palming at that point. Where all the mole, where all the moles are in her pot, that is, that is stalkerish right there. And no wonder she was freaked out. No wonder. But yeah, every single time she kept rejecting him. Because apparently she had been bullied in the past. And I'm guessing betrayed by people she thought were friends. So she was obviously a little slow to trust people now. And I don't blame her. However, there ends up being an attack on the village by a bunch of goblins, and she ends up getting surrounded by goblins, and I was like, oh, please don't let this go the Goblin Slayer route, please. Thank God it didn't seem to, like it was going to go that route. It just looked like they were going to kill her, but thankfully Ard stepped in and easily killed them. And he essentially has to reassure her that yes, he wants to be her friend, and that no, he's not going to betray her like, the other, like anybody else has. And then we end up getting to where she's going to give him a chance and they get another time skip. I'm guessing maybe four or five years. Because he's lost that that higher pitched voice of his to, you know, a teenager voice, obviously. So he's hit puberty at some point. And she wants to attend the Magic Academy with him. Oh, boy... So, their friendship has survived this long. Here's hoping it continues to last, because... Oh, boy. I wonder if anybody's going to figure out who he is and how they're going to react when they do. But, yeah, the way he talks to other kids his age was just... You know, no wonder they weren't really receptive to him, because who would talk like... Who kid talks like that? Seriously! He was talking like in uh, someone from, uh, like in the olden days, where the way he, <laughs> you guys saw the episode? He was socially awkward. 
Then again, he probably didn't have friends back then when he was the demon king, so a demon lord, or whatever. So it makes sense that he was a little bit awkward with that sort of thing. Anyway, I'll get to work on up on uh, editing the next uh, "Big Killing Slimes" video, and then I'll try and get. I think uh, I don't know if I've already edited it, but if I haven't, I'll edit the next Monster Rancher video, and I'll see you guys next time.